Hello, Frank. Wish I could have made it out there. I know it must have hurt you something fierce when you found out that you wouldn't be able to fuck me in the ass one last time. Figuratively, of course. But you should be grateful. I mean, look around you. Look at all these amazing people that must have had really nothing better to do that you roped into coming. You know, Adam. Good to see that you could pull yourself away from fucking a stranger for five minutes so you could come out here. Manny. Oh, I can't wait to not see the next movie you make. And Blake. You lucky son of a bitch. Bagged a suicide girl. How does it feel to have peaked so young? And I can't tell if that's Max or just a homeless person dressed as a hobbit. And Benny Spieler. Ah. You drunk fuck. Megan, I would say something bad about you, but I would feel really guilty, like I was stealing a juice box from a retarded kid. Sure, the juice box would taste good, but I'm sure it would have tasted a lot better for him. And Morgan, you piece of schmidt. I feel like I never see you anymore ever since you started giving that sunny D. Now John, it's great that you're growing out the beard does a great job of hiding Frank's jizz stains. I bet Johnny isn't even going to show up, so I'm not even going to bother saying anything about him. Hi, right, Gary. Oh, I'm so grateful that you took Frank and I to that Indian reception to visit all of your family. Now I know that when your reckless driving eventually kills you, we can easily find a replacement brown guy. Yoris, you know, I bet everyone's going to do a bunch of weed-smoking jokes about you. And that's not fair. They fail to see that there's a whole other side of you. They, a part that nobody even cares to mention. You also do edibles. Now that's enough silliness. Let me be frank for a moment. <laughs> oh, wasn't that funny? You and I have been through a lot, Frank. Remember when you, uh, when you thought that actress was a strung out hooker in your apartment during Midnight Jazz? Or when I walked in on you with an actual strung out hooker? Good times, good times, Frank. All this history and you're just gonna leave? For what? Some pipe dream? Like jobs and family? friends, and all that crap. I can't wait to see all the pictures of you at the top of whatever hill they pass for a mountain over there. We're all gonna miss you dearly. Vancouver won't be the same. I'm not sure if you realize this actually, but your movies are the perfect hipster films because nobody sees them. Hey, I'm good. when exactly were you planning on fucking me in the ass? Do you know how long I've been waiting upstairs? Will you shut the fuck up and get back up there? I swear I'll smack the white up of your ass. Whatever. Now Frank, I want you to know I'll be picking up right where you left off. However, there will be a void left. And it will be felt by all. But I'm gonna go feel it first. Love you bud, and I'll see you when you get sick of the interior. Come on, Johnny.